What's up, cyber warriors? Welcome back to Invisifence, where we dive deep into the world of cybersecurity and ethical hacking. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a phishing site using Cyberfish and Grok, a step-by-step -step guide that will give you a hands-on experience with phishing techniques. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you know, the better you can protect yourself. Let's get into it. Step 1. Download Cyberfish. Step 2. Open command prompt as administrator. Step 3. Navigate to the Cyberfish directory. This will take you to the Cyberfish directory. Step 4. Install dependencies. Now, we need to install all the dependencies required by Cyberfish. To do this, type the following command, pip install requirements.txt. Step 5. Run the Cyberfish script. Once the dependencies are installed, you're ready to launch Cyberfish. To do this, type python cyberfish.py. This will start the Cyberfish tool, and you will see the available options on your screen. Step 6. Choose a phishing template. In this video example, we'll be using the Discord phishing template. Choose option 13 by typing the number and pressing enter. You can select any other option based on your target. Step 7. Enter the target username. Now, Cyberfish will ask for the target username. This is the username of the person you want to send the phishing link to. For demonstration purposes, I'll enter a placeholder username. Step 8. Input the phishing URL. Next, you'll be prompted to enter the phishing URL. This is the fake website where you'll be collecting login data. Make sure to enter a convincing URL that looks similar to the real site. Step 9. Generate or enter target's IP address. Cyberfish will now ask for the target's IP address. If you already have the IP address of your target, you can enter it here. Otherwise, choose the option to generate a random IP address by typing 2. Cyberfish will provide you with 5 random IPs to choose from. Step 10. Name the HTML and TXT files. After that, you need to name your phishing files. First, name your HTML file. For simplicity, use index.html. Then, name the txt file where captured data will be stored. It's a good idea to use the same name, so enter index.txt as well. Step 11. Move files to a folder. Once these files are created, move them to a new folder on your desktop. This will keep things organized and make it easier to access your phishing page later. Tag additional steps to launch index.html using Grok. If you encounter errors like Grok is not recognized as an internal or external command, here are some extra steps to help you. Step 12. Download and install Grok. First, download Grok from their official website. Extract the downloaded file into a folder where you can easily access it, such as your downloads folder or your desktop. Step 13. Open command prompt and navigate to Grok folder. Open the command prompt and navigate to the folder where Grok is located. For example, if you extracted Grok to your downloads folder, type this command. CDC users your user downloads. This will bring you to the folder where grok.exe is located. Step 14. Start the local web server. Before using grok, you need to host the index.html file on a local web server. Use Python to start a simple HTTP server by typing cd path to folder with index.html. Then run the server python mhttp.server80. This command will serve your index.html file on port 80. Step 15. Run Grok. Now, in the other command prompt window, where you're in the Grok directory, run Grok using this command. Grok HTTP 80. This will connect your local web server to the internet, and you'll be provided with a public URL that looks like. This is the link you can send to your target. Step 16. Done. That's it. You've successfully set up your phishing site using Cyberfish and Grok. Make sure you understand the ethical implications of these methods and only use them for educational purposes or in a controlled environment. And that's a wrap for today, Cyber Warriors. You've just learned how to set up a phishing site with Cyberfish and Grok. Remember, the tools we use here are for educational purposes only. Stay ethical, stay smart. But don't go too far, because in the next video, we're diving into something even more thrilling, how to craft your very own phishing website from scratch. Trust me, 
you won't want to miss it, so make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on. Stay sharp, and I'll see you in the next one.